<laughs> Hi. Hello, hello. Good afternoon. Oh my goodness. I cannot believe that the end of the school year is already here. Mm -hmm. So much has happened. We've seen so much over this past year, and especially in this spring semester, we've seen salvations, baptisms, students growing deeper in their relationship with Christ, a genuine community being formed, as well as the beginnings of a church plant right here in St. Thomas Stand. I can't believe that's over. It's so true. The spring semester can be defined by two words, community yeah. and devotion. And we wanna take the time to give you our top highlights of the semester, of the spring, and where you'll be able to see those two words in action. Absolutely, and let's start with January. Top of the year, we start off the year with our national Every Nation Campus Conference in Orlando. And usually ENT has regional conferences, but for the first time ever, all the ENT chapters in North America, which includes Canada and the Caribbean, got together for two and a half days, just full of teachings, worship, and growing deeper in fellowship with each other as a spiritual family. We had 15 students from the Caribbean present, and it was amazing. Several students received a greater revelation of who God is. Some got free of strongholds like fear and anxiety, and others answered the call to full-time ministry, which is awesome. Yes, and even though devotion wasn't the official theme of the conference, that one word was woven in and out of the messages of every single speaker. Absolutely. And this sparked an increased desire for the students who attended from St. Thomas in the Caribbean to reach their peers, to reach their campus with the gospel. And this semester, we saw an uptick in students who joined us for our times of evangelism and outreach on the campus. And they were even intentionally making it a part of their weekly schedule, <laughs> which was so fun to see. And one of the coolest ways that we actually got to see evangelism at play this semester was in conjunction with our sermon series, Dangerous Prayers. I know you're probably wondering, what, what's so dangerous about prayers? <laughs> but we kind of shared that along with the students and we went around campus and asked students questions like what they thought about prayer, does it really change things, if they communicate with God and how, and we saw a lot of great just engagement and feedback about what UBI students think in relation to prayer and an increase in attendance at campus night due to our conversations and, inter and interactions as well. And speaking of increase, we witnessed beautiful growth in community on the campus through discipleship groups over the past few months. It's true. Yeah. <laughs> Relationships that originated or deepened due to being a part of a student-led discipleship group have now translated into movie nights in the dorms, dinners at restaurants, beach trips to spend more time together just doing life. It's true, and recently there was even a worship night on campus that was fully student organized and led by a student who's in one of our discipleship groups yeah. that's led by some of our female student leaders on the campus. And over 25 students showed up and they were worshiping until after midnight in the student activities center on campus. I wish I was there. I know, me too. <laughs> <laughs> and the gospel was even shared by one of our student leaders who felt the Holy Spirit prompting her during worship to get up, turn down the music, and present the gospel to her peers that had come into the room that night. Amazing. <laughs> and speaking of that, I just love seeing how much the confidence has grown in our student leaders this semester to really just make Jesus known and share him with their peers and their friends. Week by week, participation and depth have grown in discipleship groups to the point where real transformational work is happening. And one encouraging example is of Kalisha and her baptism, which happened a few weeks ago. Uh, Chelsea reached out to one of our students, Elizabeth, a few years ago, and then Elizabeth and Kalisha reached and discipled and baptized their longtime friend, Kalisha. I mean, talk about multi-generational discipleship. The best. <laughs> <laughs> I love even what Kalisha said about her baptism, that she didn't know that People outside of pastors could baptize her and she thought it was really cool and just special that her friends would even baptize her, especially given the history that she has with them and seeing God's hand and how that all played out. So it was super sweet. Yes, so special. And let's talk about Elizabeth for a second. <laughs> that girl. If you don't know Elizabeth, <laughs> Elizabeth is ENC UVI's first intern, our very first intern. So she's been working with us for the past year. She is amazing, yes. and we have seen her grow tremendously this year. She's really taken to evangelism, and she that girl used to be so shy, and now she'll <laughs> walk up to anyone on campus, and she will share her testimony, Seriously. and she will just straight up preach the gospel all over that campus, and she is making mm -hmm. disciples. She's reaching her peers. She's even following up with people that miss a discipleship yeah. group and <laughs> taking them through evangelism tools one by one-on-one, -on -one and 
God's just gonna continue to use her in amazing ways at the end of this internship. And she picked her first sermon at campus night. That is true. <laughs> she did an amazing job. And you know who else God is gonna use mightily? The men. Absolutely. <laughs> <laughs> there has been a significant transformation yeah. and continued growth happening in the men's side of the ministry. Most of the fruit in our campus ministry here for several years has been really on the women's side of the ministry. And we've just been praying yeah. for God to to touch the men and reach the mm -hmm. men. And um, it's amazing just the community that's being developed yeah. there, the men that are getting reached, transformation, like brothers just walking with Christ together. Even like Howard, who at the conference had an experience with the Holy Spirit and was set free from anxiety mm -hmm. and is now walking in full transformation of God in his life, or Kadrian, who's a freshman who is so bold, that guy is a teacher, and he shared his testimony in front of his peers at campus tonight, or Amiri, who we've seen transform right in front of our eyes, mm -hmm. literally, who just recently surrendered his life to Christ, and it's been incredible to watch. Yes, and last but certainly not least, we just had our first live Easter service for High Point St. Thomas. Really? So we got to gather in person, and the house was full of people, yeah. celebration, the smell of Johnny Cakes, which if you don't know what that is, you're missing out. Absolutely. And it was just amazing to see the depth of relationships in our church family here. And I just loved that Easter was our very first service where we had a fully Caribbean uh, vocal-led worship team leading uh, worship live. Amazing. <laughs> missed out. I'm so sorry. being a part of this journey with us and let's continue to reach every nation and every campus.